I do now before every show. I get my data, I bring it into Rumiku Wizard or Crosslight and figure out how to fit it all together. And you know, some of the scariest stuff is when you get into the field and you have like a high pass filter, I'm sorry, a uh, front fill that doesn't match your main speaker at all. And so it can be really helpful to get both of those and be able to look at them. So I'm gonna grab another front, I'm gonna grab, uh, let's say that these are gonna be my front fill speakers tomorrow. So I download this and I will clear selection. So here's my main speaker for tomorrow. Uh, I think this is the one I just downloaded. Yep. So again, I will align SPL. This time I'll just use the average to make it fast. And so this is two and eight. So if I want to look at phase on top of each other, go to overlays, phase, clear selection, two and eight. Hmm, interesting. Right, are these going to be compatible? I don't know. Let's try time align. Oh, never mind. doesn't have an impulse response. Okay, that's okay. Let's try the alignment tool. Oh, I need two and eight, sorry. There we go. Okay, so... Can we align them? We're never going to be able to quite align these, right? Because this guy has a phase wrap at 3K. This guy doesn't. And Okay, so... We can pick an area. We can get them to be aligned up here, but not down here. Or not aligned up here, but down here. So this is going to be a front fill. So I'm just already like, you know, <laughs> setting my expectations for aligning these two tomorrow. When I get into the field, I know I'll be able to get these guys aligned up here above 3K, but not below 3K. So I just shouldn't expect that. Or I need some way to insert an all pass filter. To make you, face mask. you can. It's, it's not, not super intuitive. In um, so what do I need? I need an all pass. I need to slow down the Lena, right? So I go to the Lena. I go to EQ, and I go to filters, and then you can put in an all pass filter. It just doesn't show you the phase here, unfortunately. Four hundred hertz. Right? So you don't see anything here, right? Because it's only showing you magnitude, but it's there. You just have to say now generate measurement from predicted. And now over here, there we go. So we could play around with this some more and try to get these to match even through here, right? But this is a lot better. So now I'm matched up here. It falls apart here, but now I'm matched down here. And now if I were to do the alignment tool again, but this time use... Put all these instructions.